We haven't really talked about these two text fields. The first one sets the name of the hose, and the second one, the controller pair names. We're gonna create a swing, so shoulder, wrist, hip, ankle don't really make sense. So we'll use start and end, click new hose, and we'll quickly key up a swinging pendulum. Set the start controller, the top center, and the end, just go from right to left and back. Pull some tangents to create a downward swing. Adjust the easing, and we get a quick pendulum swing. One thing we can do with bend direction is to actually change the direction of the bend and keyframe it. So as it swings from one side to another, we will manually change the direction. This is perfect for a lot of situations, but sometimes you want an automatic solution. That's where autoflop comes in. Select any layer in the hose group and hit the autoflop visualizer button. The autoflop is connected to the start controller, so as you move the start controller around, you'll move the autoflop. Enable autoflop in the hose settings, and change the bend direction to match, and just ram preview, and right away without any keyframing, we get easy direction change. We can bump up the autoflop falloff, and that'll smooth out the transition between each direction. But let's say you don't want a vertical threshold. The beauty about it is it's tied to the start controller. Rotate it to any angle you want and now the threshold will be at that new angle. Turn off the visualizer and you have an auto flopped hose. As you move controllers you'll notice one dynamically changes its rotation and the other one is locked in place. This is because of the freeze rotation setting on each of the controllers. Go to the start controller, turn off freeze rotation, and now it rotates dynamically based on the hose bend. When a new hose is created, the start controller is locked by default. This cuts down on some of the CPU load. Depending on your needs, you can turn them on or off as needed. Parenting a foot to a controller with frozen rotation means that as you move the controller, the controller will not rotate and the, the parented layer won't rotate either. Turn off freeze rotation and you'll be back to dynamic rotation. This controller Rotation is easily changed in the rotation transform setting, so you're free to adjust it as needed. We've talked briefly about realism and how it controls the transition between bent and straight. The main reason it was not built was for dashes. Dashes have a tendency to slip if the realism is not all the way up. So enable some dashes, set it to butt cap, turn the realism down, you'll notice that the dashes have a tendency to slide and not be locked into place. But if you bump realism all the way up, the dashes will lock into place because it's preserving the length of the hose itself. Sometimes the layer style you're looking to create is a bit more complicated that can be done on a single shape layer. It'd be nice to have a mat that you can use to trim up additional art that's been parented to controllers. So here we're just gonna create a new layer and attach it to one of the controllers. And that art is locked into place, but we want to limit it to the space of the original hose. With normal art, you just duplicate this layer and use it as a mat. But because the hose system is built on naming conventions, we have to take one extra step. Undo that and select the hose, hit the hose link button, and you'll create a new hose that has the exact same properties as the original hose. We'll use that as an alpha mat for our art layer, and now everything is limited to just the original hose. The thing about a lot of characters is that they typically have matching pairs of limbs. So let's say you create a leg and you want to create another leg from that. Well, you would probably want to select all the layers and duplicate it, but you'll quickly notice that by doing that, the hose will break. This is because of the naming convention, After Effects adds a two to the end of everything whenever you duplicate something, but the two needs to be on the inside of this double colon thing. So we went ahead and added a quick little feature that allows you to duplicate that. So select any or all the layers of a group, hold down Option or Alt and click the new hose button and you'll create a duplicate that is not broken. Drag that to the top and change the color and we can move that to where we need it to be. Once you've rigged a character, it's common practice to create a null that allow you to control everything. So create a new null, and maybe you want to put it at the feet. 
Well, there's two ways to parent everything. You can select all the controllers, any of the non-rubber hose layers, head or body or anything like that, and connect those to the controller null. That allows you to reposition, you can rotate, you can even scale it. One thing you'll notice is that the hose lengths and the and the stroke width are not changed by that. That's because so it's drawing the hoses based on the relative position to the comp. So if we add those hoses to the null and you scale, the the hoses themselves are set up. The hose is set up to look at the parent scale and scale the hose length and the stroke width accordingly. Things start getting a little weird if you as you start doing one dimension of the scale or going into negative numbers, things are going to get a, things get a little complicated with that. If you need to do something like that, if you need to change the whole direction of the character, you can pre-comp it and then there's no problem. You can set it to constantly rasterize and you can go as large as you need to because of the resolution independent shape layers. Rubber hose comes preloaded with a set of controller names. So if you go into the settings, you can see these controller names. But if you're not an English speaker or if you have different needs than standard character pairs, you can change the names in here just by doing one name, a slash, and another name. Okay, and those will be added to your preferences. One last option you can change is if you're not a fan of the blue icons, you want something that blends in a little bit more with the interface, you can change this to gray. Those are the advanced features of Rubber Hose. Thanks for watching.